happening people matt here from brockstone hope we're all good and thank you for joining us here what we're doing here is going to be really interesting we've got a few jobs to do but the first one now this initial phase of the job is to put a step in at the front and a step in at the back so the client can then get the floor the flooring in right through but then we'll be coming back to do the paving inside which is going to be done in york stone and there's a lot of points to do inside and out so first thing i'm going to do is put this step we've had made so we've got to cut it down to fit the size and we're going to do a little recess around there to wrap the ends round. so that's going there and then follow us through here got to do another step in the back so we've got to take a bit of this sandstone off here to get our height so it's level right through and the piece of stone we're using is this piece here which was actually taken from inside the house it was laid in the floor so we're going to be cutting this down and we're going to be putting the bull nose on the edge cutting it to size and that's going to go there and form the back step Oh, should be interesting. Let's go. Just changing the blades over, so this is a porcelain one. So, we've got a new one from Elite Stone Tools. This is the button shop material like natural stone these are our preferred blades of choice really good selection and the cuts on them are really crisp and clean which is the main thing nice fresh blade can't beat it let's go
caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset Digging deep since nine and nine What I thought was gone Okay, we've notched these out. So what we want to do now is replicate the same bull nose profile on this axis here. So what we've got is an off cut of this section. So we're just gonna offer this up here. Make sure it's touching that point, touching at the top and the bottom. And then we'll just mark around it there. And the same on the bottom. And then where this meets this arras here, that point there, you want to bring that through using the pencil this time because we don't know exactly where it's going to stop yet. So bring that through like that. And that's it, just need to grind that back now. Sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. It's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the fall Pulling the stitches Time to let go So come what may Don't Have a toast for the lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now Right, I've got that right down with the, the grinding pad But to remove these little lines here It's a bit too uh, vicious, a bit too tough for it So what I'm going to do, because it's a very soft stone, is just use a little diamond pad just to remove those lines there. So Jacob's just built up this back part of the step there. So when we put the bed on, it's got something to sit on. So we're just going to, uh, now we're going to put the bed in there and then put the piece in. so we probably don't need to but we're gonna prime the back of the flag we haven't got any paving primer with us today but the all faithful SBR and cement gonna put it on the back I mean the weight of the stone will keep it there but just do it as an added precaution and then hopefully it's this <laughs> So 
or actually level across. I'm going to have a slight fall coming out, so when he mortar that hits the door, it's going to come this way and not that way. And also, when you're taking it down, keeping a slight gap off here, because what we don't want to do, obviously, if, as it's moving, as it's going down, if there's any contact made here, that's like the weak point there, so that, that could splinter off. So I'm just making sure as I'm taking it down, there's a little gap off either side. So we're on to the back step now. This is the piece of stone we're gonna use on that. And I'm just looking at like where the thinnest point is there, because I'm gonna cut it back to a square edge and then put a bull nose on it. So the narrowest part of the stone is there and I've measured it. That's about three inches. So over here, I've just gotta work out got to put a bit of support in here so we've got to make good a bit of sandstone but we've also got to lower these side pieces as well to accommodate the stone so our finished you can't see there but the laser's there so we've got to allow uh, below that to keep it level with the other side ten and a half inches plus I'm gonna it's three for that plus another half inch for the bed so I'll go down What's that, maths? <laughs> what did I say? Three, three and a half. So, 13 and a half inches below that point. So, I've just got to make a mark there, reduce this stone back to that point, and then build up this, and then that'll take the thickness of the stone to the right height. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So as I've cut through this, I've exposed a fracture in the strata there. So it's all right as a chunk, but when I start bullnosing this, there's a good chance it's just gonna flake off here. So this side's no good. Even though we don't need all the stone, it probably only needs to, uh, to about there. Uh, it's still not good enough, so. I have to go to plan B and work the other side. The reason I picked this side is it's a little bit thicker. The other side's slightly thinner, but that's what we're gonna have to go with. Thank you. 
cut down the flag so that I cheap now. I've just flipped it over and I'm just going to reduce some of this so it's more of a uniform depth. So just makes it easier to handle and to get the bed right for when we put it into position because we don't want to be lifting it and adjusting it. We want to just move it from there to there in one go. So I'm just going to take some of the thickness off this bit here. So I could do it with the chisel, but just for speed, I'm going to cut some lines in it with the wizard and then take it off with the chisel. So I've made this little template which is the same width from this point to this point from Aris to Aris and then arced it round so when you see that that meets there like that nice and snug so what I'm going to do is offer it up to hit all points the front there and the top and the bottom and then I'll mark it round and then where this point here intersects with this aris, I'm gonna get that measurement there. Well, there's two ways I could do it. I could put that on that side and bring it through, but I'll just get that measurement there, which is 25 mil. And then I'll put the same down this side. So that's the furthermost, furthermost point I wanna take the ball nose to. I won't want to go past that line. Mark that. Do the same. Just stay there to the side. Do the same this side. And by the way, I'm not a stonemason. I don't know if this is the proper way to do it. But it's just the way I think it's the most logical way of doing it. I've never done one this size before, I've only ever done little bits like on the turns like we did on the front step so this is a bit of a learning curve for me as well no pun intended <laughs> <laughs> Jake's like that, that's hard that's the same as your twin so I'm just checking it through here so I'm, again I'm doing the same thing on this point here there should be a, like a slight flat bit there at the top on the face sorry uh where it's basically not touched this is nice and straight through so i don't want to take it any lower than this bit on this side so i'll take that line through to give me a guide
as you can see on the video there, we took it down uh, to the marks that we've done by eye daily. And now I've got it to this stage. I'm just going to be going along now and just checking the profile and seeing where it needs to come off. You can see there, you can see from that angle, <coughs> we're very nearly there. Just a little bit of daylight there. And it's touching at the top and the bottom. So I just need to take a bit off there at those, those points. I just keep checking it along until I'm happy with it. And then I'll just blend it all in. Right, that's it, we're done. Front and back steps both in. A lot more work in this one, but I knew that. Really happy with the finish we've got. And there's going to be a lot more work we're going to be doing on this property in the next coming months. So make sure you follow us as we undertake that. It's not going to be all done in one go. We're going to be coming back in between jobs and as and when the client wants us to work on it. But yeah, loads more to do. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.